let's talk about seated rows. Let's go. All right, but first of all, if you want to learn how to build muscle, lose fat, stay healthy, anything in the fitness world, questions you have, remember to hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, right? Very, very important. Don't forget to do that. Now we can go. Let's go. So we're going to talk about seated rows today. I'm going to give you all the common mistakes that people do with the seated row, and then we're going to cover exactly how to perform it. Now, remember, the seated rows is a muscle that is designed for the thickness of your back. It's going to attack the thickness of the back. Anytime you're doing a horizontal movement, if you're targeting the, the thickness of the back, anytime you're doing a vertical movement from top to bottom, we're building the width of the back. So, for the seated row, since it's a mass builder, something that you perform at the very beginning of your routine, right? Usually, the rep range is between uh, 10 and 15 reps. We're going to be covering every single part of the mistakes that people do that we see that I see often in the gym and that I see often in people performing online, okay? So, we got three different mistakes, common mistakes, that should be avoided in order to get the most out of the exercise and at the same time, um, leave uh, the possibility of getting injured, which is not what you want, okay? So, the first mistake that people do with the seated row uh, is going too heavy. And by going too heavy, you're sacrificing the form. The form is the most important part of the whole exercise, the whole repetition. If you don't have the form on check, you're not really targeting that muscle, you're going to involve other muscles um, in order to bring the weight from uh, the starting position to the end position. So by going too heavy, you're gonna start to like, after the first couple of reps, maybe the, three, the second, the third rep, you're gonna start sacrificing the form and using like, it's, it's almost like a push or a pull where you're like bringing, kind of like bringing, um, using other muscles in order to bring that weight by pushing, just look at the video and how I'm performing it, you will see exactly how, um, what I'm referring to. But going too heavy is never uh, a priority. Remember, the, in the range of priority, it goes from form, time under tension, and then finally the weight. The weight is the last, uh, the least important factor out of the three, okay? So keep that in mind whenever you're performing this exercise. Lower the weight maybe to a, a medium, like a moderate type of weight, and perform the exercise between the 10 and 15 reps, okay? So that's the first mistake. The second mistake is going to be the swinging back and forth. So this kind of like relates to the first mistake, right? Where you're going too heavy, but you see a lot of movement, right? Where people um, are using momentum in order to bring the weight up, right? So it's almost like it's too heavy, and then they're using like a back, they're almost like if, they're, if they were doing some sort of back, back extension, by swinging back and forth using momentum in order to bring the weight the, the, the weight all the way to the end of the movement, okay? So that's something that you want to avoid. Remember, if you're swinging and using momentum, you are highly, you're, you're increasing the chances of getting injured. And that is not what we want, okay? By getting injured, you're gonna be staying out of the gym for, for, for a period of time. You know, you're gonna be losing weight. That is something you wanna avoid at all times. Okay, so that's the second mistake. The third mistake is going to be bringing the handle way too high. So you see, you'll see people bringing the handle all the way up to the chest. By, by doing that, you're, you're Removing the possibility of using your 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 rhomboids and your trapezius, right? Remember your trapezius goes all the way to the middle of the back to bring the weight, right? You're starting to use like the rear deltoid, the, the posterior deltoid, and that deltoid is very sensitive. It's very um it's a small muscle to be bringing that kind of weight. So you're not only eliminating the possibility of using the muscles that are supposed to target for that exercise, but you're incorporating other muscles that are in, that have no business in this in this movement. And since they're smaller muscles, they could be easily turned up, they could be easily uh, injured, which is not what you want. This exercise is performed the following way. You should always keep your back straight at all times during the entire movement. There's going to be a bit of rocking back and forth, but it's a very small amount. It's not going to be like a swinging where you're almost like if you're laying down, okay? So you're, you're, you're basically doing this movement during the, during the repetition, but not all of this, right? <clears throat> The, the weight should stay at a moderate, as I said before. And the handle should be brought into the, into the upper part of your abdominal area, so to, the, to your core. That way, whenever you're doing that, you're, ta you're attacking the rhomboids, right? Which are the muscles that go all the way down, right? Um, you're also targeting trapezius. You're targeting every single muscle that basically is, is designed to be uh, building the thickness of the back. So keep your back straight. Bring the handle to the upper part of the abdominal area, right? Contract, right, for one second. Control that negative part of the rep. Get almost, you can get, a, you can get away with a little bit of a stretch 
whenever you are uh, going back to the starting position so you can get more out of the exercise, more stretching. It's going to create more stimulus for, for the growth of the back. So remember to keep those mistakes in mind. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on social media. See you soon. For more tips and pointers how to build muscle and lose fat, make sure to watch these videos as well and follow me on all social media platforms.